A new star system alpha 3.23 ep2 pass just dropped and we're going straight into it this time around it has a caveat saying as a known issue for 3.23 live server recovery will remove all current missions and mark them as abandoned this will not reduce reputation when this occurs this could cause a few trespassing issues in locations like UGFs. This is not the intended final outcome for missions and recovery and further changes are coming in a later release. So just uh, make sure you park your ships in a position where the turrets cannot shoot your ship when you're going to do underground facility missions. All right, so let's continue on. So for features and gameplay under the gameplay category, they reduce unlawful salvage mission buy-in price. Under Cortec, they made further overall client and server performance optimizations. They made multiple further physics and performance optimizations, further network performance optimizations, FPS weapons, ray caster performance optimization, interior map UI and performance polish pass as well. They also have a few bug fixes with this one. They fix an issue where players can fall through planet terrain by turning off engines and getting up from the seats in a landed vehicle they fix an issue where ai shoot through players and neutral ai to hit their target they also fix an issue where the kiosks do not display any usable information such as maid prison sentence timer etc and the interaction does not work so now this is for the Kleschler prison they also fix an issue where the player occupying the co-pilot seat in the vehicle can block the pilot from switching between nav and scm so now this is for multiple vehicles. They also fix an issue where eliminate specific objective marker does not update with the target's location, even though it has been spawned. They also fix an issue where the elevator is missing at Grimhex Hospital. They also fix another issue where the courier delivery mission have crates that can not be interacted with. They also fix an issue where large delivery missions at Kovalex Distribution Center as for DC05 is failing to generate property. They also fix an issue where distance marker do not show if the attached to a QT beacon. They fix an issue where completing race does not reward any rep. Now this is for time trials. They also fix an issue where ADS clips to larger heavy armor in EVA and prone poses. Along with this is one client crash, one server crash, a general Vulcan client crash, an NVIDIA specific Vulcan client crash, an AMD specific Vulcan client crash, and a backend service crash fix. Also, just to let y'all know, CIG does intend to drop Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 this week. Whether this is going to be the candidate, we'll have to see. But um, with this week's Inside Star Citizen, it's going to be all about 3.23 and with all the features and um, new additions in the game so most likely 3.23 will drop during isc's release or before that you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video